Yes, yes, yes. I had to get one. That's the Spinner One by Coilmaster. You can spin, you can vape. And if you have OCD, or if you just think it looks cool, or you just want something no one else has yet, go ahead and get a spinner. My kids have them. They have about a dozen each. I didn't want to be left out, so now their daddy has a spinner too. We're going to dive right down. We're going to look at it up close just to show you how it connects. And um, then you can decide if you want one or not. All right, so we got the Coil Master Spinner 1. This is the gold version. They also come in the stainless steel. If you have OCD, if you just like spinners, if you like to play with these things while you're vaping, you can spin and vape. And there you go. As you can see, on this device at least, I haven't tried it on a lot of devices yet, it does not sit perfectly flush. Okay, so if that bothers you, as a lot of people I know it does, I couldn't care less. But I care because some of you care. It will bother you a little. It does not sit flush. It doesn't even sit straight sometimes, you know. But hey, it's got to be free spinning. It's got to it's got to be free floating in order to spin. Let's take a look at it. If we unscrew it, one little downside. I mean, again, once you have it on, it's a spinner. It's going to spin. It works fine, no problem. Uh, but putting it on and off, there is your pin. All right, that goes in the center to make contact with your positive pin. I'm going to close off my uh, juice flow on here, prevent a little leaking. So there's your pin, all right? And now this is inserted through the top, but, or through the bottom, but now your atomizer is screwed into this. Getting this off is not so easy. There is nothing really to grip onto here in order to unscrew it from your atomizer. That is the only problem I find. If you take a pair of pliers and you grab here, you are going to destroy the threading. So that is not going to work. If you look closely though, you can see what spins. That outer silver ring also does spin, but this inner gold part here, which is attached to the 510 uh, threading, does not. And that's where you got to grab it from. Uh, that's the only way to easily, or to get it off anyway, I should say, not just easily, but basically if you can hold that and then turn your atomizer to loosen it, now you can unscrew it without damaging the threading. And when I take that off, you can see what I mean. You've got to grab that little metal ring there. Okay? And then you have your atomizer. And it does come with this little uh, protective, which probably has juice on it now. A little protective cardboard. And you get two of these. And there you go. you got some juice on it. I'm going to clean that up. All right, and it does come with two of these. So basically, you're taking that. You're taking your spinner. You're placing it with the side that has a, a little nub on there right on there so that the flat side is touching your atomizer. You put that through. You take your 510 adapter or it's just a 510 screw on thread, male to female, okay, like an extension. You throw your positive pin in there. You screw it back into whatever device you want to use it on. All right. I haven't tried it on any, just one other device actually. Uh, so. It's got to, you've got to have a gap there. It's got to be free spinning. All right, I'll show you the case. Let's give that a spin. Just comes in this little metal tube here, you know, a little, like, a uh, little tin. Put an extra one of those, and that's it. All right, these go for about nine bucks or so online. And that is the Spinner One.